repeated shootings in schools, stores, and churches, they're eroding our sense of safety. They're creating overwhelm and contributing to emotional exhaustion. My name is Amanda Escobillo and I'm the founder and coach of Empowerhouse Coaching. And today I'm gonna to share with you three mindfulness tools or steps to help calm your fear and anxiety. Now, if you find yourself on your way to a public setting or at a public setting or large events and you feel paranoid or anxious about your safety, here's what you can do. Step one, recognize that you're triggered and you'll know that you're triggered because your body will tell you you're triggered. Your chest might be tightening, your stomach might be turning into knots. And for me, I recently found myself triggered at a movie theater when I was watching Batman. My trigger didn't occur until I took a break to go to the restroom. And while I was there, I felt a huge wave of fear overcome me and my chest started really tightening, which brought me to step two. I call this the 557. And what you wanna do is take five deep breaths in. Then you wanna hold for five. And then you wanna release for seven. Now you actually wanna do that 10 times. Don't worry, it's only a two minute practice. Now when you are doing the five, five, seven, ten 10 times, this practice is going to help you move out of your stress response, your sympathetic nervous system, and it's gonna activate your relaxation response, your parasympathetic nervous system. Now if your stomach starts to gargle during this five, five, seven practice, that's a good sign because it means your blood is now shifting from your arms and your legs, your fight or flight response into your stomach and it's going to activate your digestion system, which is a good thing. Now the last step you wanna do after you've calmed down is kind of look around the room and just say to yourself, be here now. I am safe and I am okay. Now those are your three steps to calming your fear and anxiety. Step one, recognize that you're triggered and find it in your body. Step two, practice the 557 breathing exercise 10 times. And step three, look around the room and just say to yourself, be here now. I am safe and I am okay. My name is Amanda Escobedo from Empowerhouse Coaching. If you end up practicing these mindfulness tools or steps, let me know how it goes by leaving a comment. I really hope to empower you to create your own peace no matter the circumstances.